Oil painting medium does not need to be complicated. I'm gonna show you how and why in this video. Hi, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero here to help simplify oil painting so you can get better, faster. All right, there is a lot of confusion about oil painting medium out there. And the truth is there are a lot of ways to do it. I'm gonna show you what I think is the most simplest way go about, to go about doing it. What is the best way for beginners to keep things simple and get you painting and having some fun. All right, the oil painting medium I recommend is linseed oil. I got Gamblin right here. The brand doesn't really matter when you're starting out just grab some linseed oil from Michaels and I'll put an Amazon link to where you can get some below. Uh, but I like linseed oil because it uh, lengthens the drying time. It slows it down. I know you see a lot of people out there that are trying to speed up their drying time. I don't recommend that, especially for beginners because one of the advantages to oils is the slow drying time. And yes, there are certain painters out there that are very good that want their paints to dry faster for their specific process. But if you're just starting out, use the slow drying time to your advantage. It's really cool and there's a lot that you can do with it. All right, also this stuff cannot go bad. Uh, even if you have some sitting in a jar and it gets like a thick film crust layer on top of it, just break that, uh, that film and use the linseed oil underneath, it's perfectly fine. Also, you don't have to worry about fumes with uh, linseed oil as well. All right, so let's jump on into the tutorial. All right, I'm gonna keep it very simple. Uh, my materials, I got a linen panel right here. It's uh, toned, it's from an old painting that I wiped off. That's why it's this neutral color here, which is good to start out with a neutral color, not just plain white. Uh, I got my powder palette paper with ultramarine blue, cad red, lemon yellow, titanium white. Got my paint thinner and my linseed oil. So, oh, and also my paper towels. These are the unsung heroes of oil painting. A lot of paper towels, good to use. I'll get into that in just a bit. All right, so I'm gonna start with the paint thinner. This is used to clean your brush, you know, between colors and whenever you need a light wash. So say if I was blocking in something, you know, I wanna get my brush a little wet here. It's almost as acts as uh, water does for acrylics and um, watercolors. So if, you know, I'll pull off some, some red. So I got like a little nice wash. And you see it's very, it's gonna be very thin, very thin wash. Some that's good for blocking in things, uh, drawing, you know, whatever you need, you know, the paint to be thinner for, it's good to use that. And having, using this to thin out the paint for this, it will also make it dry faster. So what do you use the linseed oil for? You lose the linseed oil when, say I got this red, let's try to make a mark. See how it fades out at the end here? If you don't want that, if you want to be, you know, be able to do more than one stroke pretty much, uh, cad red's really thick, uh, it's not a very fluid color here. You know, you can just dip a little of that linseed oil. And what's that gonna do? It's gonna make the paint flow a lot better. And depending on how much you put into it, will change the uh, consistency and how it flows. So now it's going to, you know, flow different and it's still going to keep the linseed oil is going to keep its color. See with the uh, paint thinner, you know, it definitely knocks the color back a lot. Linseed oil keeps the color. So, you know, there's kind of three main, you know, ways to use the paint and then, you know, varying degrees between those three ways. First way, like I showed earlier, is, you know, we got the light wash, using the paint thinner, and then use the linseed oil. It's gonna be more, more vibrant, more fluid. And then towards the end of your painting, sometimes you don't use either because you want the paint to be really thick. Like if I wanted to lay something on top of that, say if I had a, say if that's an apple and I have a highlight or a lighter part of the apple, I'm not going to really use any paint thinner because I want this paint to be pretty thick and sit on top of that. So the 
thickness of the paint is going to determine, you know, how the paint goes on to the canvas. And you can see in between, I, I, I wipe my brush off, clean it, and I'll say if I wanted to go to a different color, say if I wanted to go to uh, green, I'm getting paint off my brush. Now I got a green. And again, if I have my green and I'm trying to paint and it's just, I'm not getting the flow that I want with that. Okay. That's what the linseed oils do is to change the consistency of the paint to what you want and what you need. Now the paint can flow very, very nicely. So to go over it one last time, paint thinner, clean your brush in between colors just to kind of loosen up. You know, I don't, don't think of it so much as washing your brush in the linseed oil. I mean, in the uh, paint thinner, think of it as much as using it to loosen up the paint and you get, you know, a lot of the paint off on your, on your paper towel here. Linseed oil to change the, the flow of the paint. So if you're, you know, dragging your brush and it's seeming really dry, really stiff, you know, you're not getting the flow that you want. That's when you use linseed oil. Uh, you don't have to use either one, you know, towards the, uh, you know, parts of your painting where you want really, really thick paint so that you can, you know, use it as a top layer. That's when you want the thick paint. All right, I hope that simplified the whole oil painting medium linseed oil thing for you. Uh, another thing to know with linseed oil is don't worry about, like when you pour out like a little jar, a little capsule of it uh, to use while you're painting, don't worry about, you know, contaminate it with paint. You know, try the best you can to uh, clean your brush with your paper towels or your paint thinner before dipping into your medium. But if you can see some paint in there, don't freak out. Don't think that you have to throw that out and always have clean uh, oil. You don't, it's, it's, it's fine. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. You can uh, see what I'm painting on a daily basis on Instagram at fours of 43. I also release a new paint talk every Wednesday, a uh, show where I sit down and give you my thoughts on everything painting. It's kind of like a podcast. So uh, I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.